Hello, this is Andrew Munson, and I'd like to welcome you to another Tech Talk by Frontier Precision. Today we are going to be going over two ways to set up a total station using station setup in Trimble Access. One setup is done using two known points, and the other is a setup using one point in an azimuth angle. We will be using a Trimble S6 robotic total station, a TSC3 using Trimble Access, a 2 meter rod with a multi track prism, a tripod, and a tape measure. The first thing you will do when setting up a total station is set up over your control point and make sure it is level. Once you are over your point and level, you will measure your instrument height. There are two different spots you can measure to, and it is important that you select the correct one in your station setup. True height is measured to the crosshairs on the side of the total station, and bottom of notch is the bottom of this line here. Measure and record your instrument height somewhere. We will enter this into the data collector later. We will then move on to the data collector. Open up Trimble Access and select your job. Double check your job properties and make sure it has been set up correctly. Most total station work will be done using a scale factor of 1. Then make sure you are connected to your total station. You will be able to see that you are connected by looking on the right side of your screen. Then click measure and we can begin the station setup. Select station setup. The first screen you will see is the correction screen. Pressure will be filled in for you, so just enter the temperature and the PPM will be calculated for you. Click Accept and we will see the Station Setup screen. The first way we will go over how to do the Station Setup requires one known control point. If the control point has already been entered into the job, you can just type in the name of that point. This is where you will enter the instrument height that you measured earlier. If you click the arrow besides this instrument height, you can select which point you measured your height to. Click Accept and the next screen will show up and we can enter our backside information. Because we don't have a second known point, you can enter whatever name you want to call this next point. Then enter a code for the point, the backside height of your prism, and your azimuth. It is easiest to point your total station straight north for this setup, so you will enter in zero for azimuth. Make sure your method is set to angles and distance and that you have selected the correct prism type on the right side of the screen. Make sure you are locked onto your prism by looking on the right side of your screen. Hit measure and the screen will display your measurements. If the measurements look correct, you can begin measuring points. The second way to do a station setup requires two known control points. You will begin the same way we did with the other setup and enter in the correction values. Hit accept and the instrument point screen will come up. Enter in the point name and the code and coordinates will come up. Enter in your instrument height, making sure you have selected the same height you measured to earlier. Your prism and pole can now be placed on the other control point. Enter in your backside point name and the code and azimuth will automatically populate. Then enter in your backside height, select angles and distance, and make sure you have selected the correct prism. Hit measure and the measurement screen will come up. If the measurements look correct, you are properly set up and ready to start taking measurements. In summary, we have gone over two ways to set up a total station. I hope you found this video very helpful and join us in the future for our other Tech Talks. Feel free to browse our collection of other helpful Tech Talks and webinars as well. Thank you.